Hi there, Ruben here for Native Instruments, and in this video I'll be taking a look at some favourite libraries from eInstruments. These include string, brass and keyboard selections, including Session Strings 2 Pro and Session Horns Pro, and their more lightweight siblings, Session Strings 2 and Session Horns, three authentic electric keyboards, Session Keys Electric R, S and W, plus the recently updated Cremona Quartet, including the Stradivari Violin, alongside an additional violin, viola and cello from Historic Craftsman. All of these include full NKS mapping for Native Instruments hardware, along with complete control audio previews. These instruments are suitable for a wide variety of genres, from the pop, Latin, disco and funk of session horns and strings, to the blues and jazz of session keys, right through to the more cinematic and classical feel of the quartet. There's a little something here for everyone, including innovative scripting that handles automatic chord voicing and loads of pre-built phrases for the horns, strings and keys to give your compositions a creative kickstart. More on all of that as I go along, but let's start with the most recent release, Cremona Quartet. This collection brings together four of the world's rarest and most valuable string instruments. As the name suggests, the sampling sessions were carried out in Cremona, Italy with virtuoso performers. In fact, a part of the city was closed to traffic to reduce the background noise whilst the sessions took place. This results in some of the most detailed and delicately sampled solo string instruments available today. I actually produced the original walkthrough video for this, so do take a look at that for a comprehensive guide. The two violins, viola and cello, all share a common interface, with the many articulations assigned to the newly expanded key switch system, now with 32 articulation slots available, a much requested feature that allows for greater playability. Two main patches are available for each instrument, one with a selection of three microphone positions that you can mix yourself, the other a pre-mixed balanced signal. Have a listen to the three different mic positions soloed. There are also snapshots for quickly accessing pre-designed mapping and mic options. The instruments are designed to be simple to pick up and play, with each defaulting to virtuoso mode, combining multiple playing techniques without the need to key switch. There's a gorgeous smooth fingered and bowed legato under the fingers, press harder for portamento slides. Staccato and spiccatissimo shorts can be introduced with a flick of your pitch bend wheel. Here are a few more of the articulations. Many have additional parameters such as the speed control for tremolo and some other longs. Or tempo syncing for the sortile repetitions to match the tempo of your project. Open this panel to access deeper controls for shaping the vibrato and dynamics. One of the many innovative features of these instruments is that the samples have been aligned in post-production. This results in buttery smooth transitions through the dynamic layers and natural sounding vibrato in a variety of styles.
One other thing to mention, the position window, where you can set the playing position on the fingerboard. Along with an option to force open strings for authentic double stops. As you can see and hear, Cremona Quartet is at the bleeding edge of solo string sampling and gives you access to some of the most exquisite sounding historical instruments on the planet. Sticking with strings, let's move on to Session Strings 2 Pro. This is a 22-piece string ensemble recorded in a studio setting, perfect for pop, disco, rock and all different sorts of other contemporary styles. Again, there's a walkthrough video that I made to introduce the main features, so do take a look at that. Just like the quartet, the instruments here are designed to be playable right out of the box, but they also have lots of additional features to make string writing quick and easy. First off, you'll see that the patches are split into various instrument sections, both traditional and modern seating. There are also ensemble patches combining all the instruments. With these patches, each section is essentially a divisi section, with options to halve the number of instruments playing for a more intimate sound. Use the mixer window to design your own combinations of instruments. One of the most useful features is the sound selector just here, with a wide variety of presets to emulate different eras, styles and special effects. The default mode of playback is velocity switching, where you take two articulations and control them via velocity, with scoop and fall effects on the pitch wheel. Another mode is articulation switching via key switch, with 26 different playing styles. automatic ARP sequences, use the Rhythm Animator or Phrase Animator. With these options you can dive into the hundreds of presets that add animation to your parts, or design your own. Where these rhythms come in really handy is when you combine with the smart voice and smart chord modes. Play with just a single finger and the engine will create natural chord voicings automatically. Delve into the chord sets and voicing options to add interesting chord shapes by selecting options and playing the black keys. I just love this feature, which often throws up extended chords that I would have never thought of using.
If you want a quick and easy string accompaniment that's already been created and structured, head for the phrase animator. Here, there are entire phrases and songs that you can mix and match. Play the same chords and choose another song for a completely different effect. If you like the sound of this pro version but only need the basic articulations and just the ensemble strings, take a look at the standard version of Session Strings too. There are a few other differences as well. Check the like for like comparison table on the Native Instruments website for further information. This 11 piece ensemble still contains a great selection of features, sound shaping, rhythm animator and automatic chord voicing. All very useful stuff. It's a similar story with Session Horns and Session Horns Pro, with the slimmed down regular version containing a more streamlined selection of instruments and fewer articulations than its larger cousin. Nevertheless, Session Horns is still a very capable four-piece workhorse featuring two trumpets, a trombone and tenor sax. The pro version of Session Horns goes all out, with 10 solo instruments and almost 40 section preset options, from 70s disco horns to upfront and modern. With a greater range of expression and more round robins, this is the full package. <laughs> You can customise the combination and layout of your horn section with the internal mixer, including dropped octaves. With a large range of articulations, including pitch bend falls and doits, shakes, growls and trills to enhance your horn parts. Now, I'm by no means an expert horn arranger, so the voicing assistant and smart chord options are a lifesaver. Smart voice splits will allocate voices to the correct instruments, very much like in Session Strings 2 Pro. You can also pick a root key and major, minor, dominant seventh or Dorian, and the chord voicing and instruments notes will be chosen automatically and authentically. As before, you can add colour with the black keys to spice up your chords, extending them into more creative diminished and suspended variations. Like Session Strings 2, the animator can be loaded up with a variety of styles and songs. 
then just hold down your chord keys and let it provide authentic accompaniment. Options for harmony, unison playing and just rhythmic playback are here. Lastly, let's take a quick look at three instruments from the Session Keys range, new additions to the Native Instruments NKS shop. Session Keys R is so much more than just a Rhodes Mark I stage piano. Faithfully sampled, complete with all of the unique quirks that give this instrument its character, there are two completely different sample sets, Studio and Live. In addition, click here to hear a huge range of sound presets that make full use of all of the features of this instrument. You can further tweak the sound with the pentamorph control just here, introducing other characteristics. Smart controls have been carried over from the other libraries that I've looked at and the functionality extended. Just choose the key of your song and play with the black and white keys for instant inspiration. The animation section is another fun way to find ideas, with over 400 ready to play licks and grooves. You can either play full chords or use smart chords choosing intros, verses, choruses, bridges and endings with key switches, whilst using the mod wheel to introduce more complexity to the riffs and the pitch bend wheel for dynamics. It's a lot of fun to play this way and you'll come up with some great sounding riffs in an instant. The same engine is carried over to Session Keys Electric S with live and studio sample sets, a sampled version of a legendary 1973 suitcase piano. Here's a quick blast. You'll also find identical functionality with Session Keys Electric W, a faithfully restored and sampled vintage Wurlitzer electric piano. Have a listen. So that's a quick rundown of everything that I love about these libraries. I've only had the time to touch on the main features of each of these instruments, from the delicately sampled historic solo strings of the Cremona Quartet, to the pure funk of the keyboards and horns. Check out each library's full specs on their product page and try them out for yourself. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching.